AAA gaming is officially dead. I'm not saying that. The video is talking about. Let's investigate. Like and subscribe. Clench We're your butt cheeks. We're only three months let's into see. 2024, and if there's one thing that's been proven true, it's that AAA gaming is, is dead. dead. Yeah. And smaller studios are stealing the spotlight and stepping up, outdoing AAA companies in game design and even sales. Um, Power you agree? World, Enshrouded, Helldivers 2, Last Epoch, all of these are- As somebody who's not- WHAT?! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yo, is it really? No, say you swear to god. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, as somebody uh, who, uh, who is not into Helldivers, I'm like, I'm really glad that this game blew up actually, you know, I want to see more games blowing up like that, but I didn't know it was $40, holy crap, somebody told me and I did not believe that actually. For half the price of AAA games, and are putting the AAA games released this year to shame. Suicide Squad, Dead on Arrival, developed by people who hate the fans, yeah. Skull and Bones, F the fans, F the fans, Dead on Arrival. A supposed quadruple A game with facial animations and combat worse than the game that inspired it? from a decade ago. Um. Helldivers 2, a game that's ran out of server space to handle the mass amount of players Crazy. and has become a cultural phenomenon. Uh. Pal World. I would rather this problem than, you know what, games dead uh, dead on launch, 100%. With a massive all-time peak of 2 million players and are making Game Freak and Nintendo look like they're the ones who are the indie studio. Lame. Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Please. That's like Call of Duty players right now, man. Holy crap. New good games? Yeah, absolutely. People water. like you or me say that modern gaming sucks. We aren't levying that statement towards games like Pow World or Helldivers or Lethal Company. No, modern gaming sucks is directed solely to the majority of AAA companies. Yeah. And some might say, why do you even care about AAA games? Just to, to be honest though, AAA game. Listen, I I got nothing but love for the indie devs and the passionate devs, but it's like, man, I'm not sure. I I just you know what? I know what it is. I blame I blame Activision and Call of Duty, dog. <laughs> Call of Duty has ruined my my gamers mentality, bro. Call of Duty has ruined my and GTA as well because I'm a type I'm a type of gamer. I the good the good the only good quality that I have in terms of. My gaming habits is that I love single player games, okay? So you cannot say nothing! You cannot say nothing, okay? You cannot say anything mean to me right now, or I mean, roast me in the comments, but that's the only good quality I have, I gotta agree. Uh, but other than that, bad qualities all around. Bruh. I play Call of Duty, Battlefield, GTA, and none of these games are killing it right now. GTA 6, I believe in it, but what are the odds that game is gonna turn out to be bad? Ignore them. Hopefully then. it turns out to be bad. And I agree. I've been doing that for quite a while now. But unfortunately, AAA studios and publishers have some amazing IPs that I just want to see more of from very passionate developers. Elder Scrolls and Fallout, two great IPs that are currently in the wrong hands at modern yeah. day Bethesda. <laughs> After they continually yeah. brag about Starfield. Man, Starfield could have been like, like such a massive game, but it's like, holy crap. What's good, Clicks? I see you, Clicks. I see you, bruh. I haven't touched any Call of Duty since the OG Modern Warfare 3 and the OG Black Ops 2. For real, holy crap. I mean, Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2, peak Call of Duty games. Uh, the original one, obviously. And the numerous devs always defending the game design at every turn, I'm not expecting any future Bethesda games to be anything but disappointing. Ubisoft Damn. owns Splinter Cell, Call of Juarez, Brothers in Arms, so many other franchises, but they either ignore them completely or they turn them into modern gaming slop. Saints Row, Twisted Metal, Deus Ex, Infamous. Man, it sucks. It sucks to see Saints Row like do that, right? Like they went full blown woke, and uh, you know everything woke turns to crap. You you ever heard about that, right? So that happened. It's it really is a slap on the gamer's face, and it's like, dog, why even kill your own studio? Why couldn't you just make like old school Saints Row type game that would have been so it would have sold even better though you feel what I'm saying because Saints Row like I watched the trailer and I was like bro this game this game gonna carry me till GTA 6 these seconds couldn't even carry us till GTA 6 trailer bro they shut down before they shut down their studio before GTA 6 trailer could drop what the actual f bruh thief so many franchises Welcome back, have Zayden. been either abandoned or butchered. Yeah, it was sluggish. The thing about Absolutely. these games right here Chris. is that they were made by devs that are real gamers. Devs that made games they would want to play themselves. Devs that are passionate about what they're making and have a real understanding of game design. They aren't scared to make a game that isn't for everyone. 
because all games can't be for everyone. And this is one of the biggest reasons why AAA is failing right now. They try to appeal to the largest audience as possible. The games end up having no identity, no real strengths. They're so formulaic that they all- Any of you actually playing quadruple A games like that? You know what I mean? Like... Always come out feeling like every other milquetoast triple A game. Quadruple and it's ended a up game. being a reason my many fans are pushed away. We make Ow. games we want to play. It sounds a little too much like it's just like gatekeeping for bald middle-aged white guys like me. This right here is just another corny ass bullshit pandering <laughs> statement that has led to the mentality that's killing the leadership at AAA Studios right now. Where did this mindset get you, Justin? Record low player counts for Destiny 2? And a fan base Damn. that is expecting and hoping for Bungie's demise? But what does this dude care? He got promoted at this company after giving this- What? No, say you swear to God, bro. No way. No way. Very swag when you need him. No way. EDC presentation, which should tell you everything you need to know about current AAA gaming. And again, I have to reiterate, we make games we want to play is the type of philosophy that leads to successes like Baldur's Gate 3, Helldivers 2, Power World, Lethal Company, and so many others. So to any and all game developers out there that may be listening to this, have this quote hanging on your wall and design- We make games we want to play Bumbleclaw. Bumbleclaw! Find your games with it in mind. So AAA gaming is dead. I know yeah. that's a bit of a hyperbolic statement, and I'm going to back it up with some data in a minute. Ow. But first, let's dive a little bit deeper into the success of games like Power World and Helldivers 2. What yeah. about these games in particular is done so- Any of you actually playing them? Uh, one in the comments if you're playing at least Power World or Helldivers, two if you're playing both, three if you're playing none. I'm playing none of them, but it's like, I look at it, and I'm like, I'm really, really glad that these games are blowing up. I'm just not the target audience, but- uh, I've read some of your guys' comments. I mean, some of you guys are saying you're loving it, and it's good to see, honestly. Like, I want to see more games doing good. I want to see more games, but... Uh, three, three, ah, uh, rip, there we are, man. Nobody playing them. Okay, two ninja playing both of them. Okay, Bruce, what does four means, man? You play GTA 8? Is that what, what you're saying? I can see these uh, issues in every genre. RPG, FPS, racing, you name it. Bungie doesn't respect their player's time, and the walled space sucked too. Okay. I don't have a PS5 or PC, so okay, got you, Godzilla. Well, that they're maintaining such high player counts and exploding. Holy Let's first crap. start with Power World. These games doing like Call of Duty numbers. I mean, Power World like got up to almost like doing Fortnite numbers too. Holy Power crap. World is Pokemon meets Minecraft meets Breath of the Wild. And the way they were able to blend elements from all those games and still come out creating something that can stand on its own two legs as its own real thing is an impressive feat alone. But one of the biggest strengths with the game that I recognized pretty quickly is that it's a game that has a respectable grind. It's incredibly well balanced. Every mm -hmm. game session mm -hmm. on Power World, you always feel like you're making progress, always discovering something new, and or doing some epic base building. And all Honestly, my this is what I always say, like, <sighs> graphics obviously are good. Graphics are like the hot chick, right? I always give this example, like, if a chick is hot, yeah, sure, she's gonna attract you. Graphics, if the graphics are good, sure, it's gonna attract you and pull you in. But then it's all about the personality. If her personality sucks, then mm 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 mm. A a personality is like gameplay, right, of the game. And then it's like you need customization options, you need more shit in the game. Like, progression is uh, what you need. Progression, 100% though. Graphics, I'm not saying like graphics needs to be bad, especially in this day and age. You need good graphics. You need good graphics. Good graphics is like the bare minimum, but it's like all about gameplay and progression. And if you're constantly being rewarded, Call of Duty did so good back in the days, right? Like you guys remember? Proceed system. Some suckers wanted to proceed, others not so much, and they wanted to stick with level 50. But now it's like everybody's stuck with level 50. There's nothing to do, right? Like, it was, uh, yeah, progression and just adding more ranks kind of helps the game, actually. Playtime so far across several servers. I've yet to get bored or feel like something is a slog. I feel like my time is being respected, which for a survival game, a genre I'm not usually a huge fan of because of long grinds, well, I have to, to say that Power World has struck a near perfect balance in my eyes. And if you weren't comfortable... I was saying that the next week we have a little bit of 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 a
After that, I didn't hear anything though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think <laughs> I don't think they are getting sued. What's with your channel icon? I'm just going for that old school look. Uh, disclaimer: How you doing, brother? Welcome with on in, the man. base level grind. Then Pocket Pair allows you to tweak a whole bunch of settings in your game world to adjust XP levels, death penalties, and a whole lot of other shit. And I really applaud them for having all these options for the player. Yeah. Now that's a few big reasons I think the game is successful, but the next biggest is Dan the Dan pals Dan themselves. Dan there's been a lot of work put into the pals, having unique attacks and abilities, and even designs, even if they are very similar to. Or Munakas now, man. Munakas here. Freed, you have given me. I have given you protein. Take it. Spring tight. Take it. But, like, you know, Munakas, you have not eaten pig. Okay, like, 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 you have not eaten pig. And it's fun to ride them around and blow shit up. I've created more meaningful relationships with my pals in Pal World than I have in any of the recent Pokemon games. There's just so many ways to interact with the pals, and it's lent to some real sense of bonding with these characters. And lastly, the price of the game is $30. Holy crap. And it's also on Game Pass. I mean, listen, I would 110% like love to get games at $30, bro. Like $30, absolutely. This game looks pretty cool, though. And didn't understand a work. Uh, didn't understand a work. You said work. You said. Uh, you mean word? Do you mean word, uh, Michael? You say work. Uh, no, I was speaking. Yeah, I was uh, talking in different language with my with my homie in chat, bro. Plus, no microtransactions. Or uh, that, that's actually my cousin. You know, say so. I was uh, talking with my cousin in chat with my language. So yeah, my bad, my bad, Michael, my bad. No passes. It's just a damn good game for thirty bucks. Now the only downside right okay. now is the bugs. Pathing for the pals, server instability, especially on the Xbox consoles, and map glitches that lead you to potentially getting stuck. Bruh. If they can iron out the basic bugs, I see no reason why I won't be able to stick with this game for years to come. Damn, homie. Now let's take a look at Helldivers 2. Helldivers 2 is what I would say is a true cinematic gaming experience. Not this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the longest amount of time, Sigus would say that, yeah, and it's quite true though. Sony is a movie company, so they got like movie games. You know what I'm saying like everybody say, oh, okay, so you have a you have a controller in hand, right? Like you got a controller in hand, and then the, and then the next minute you're gonna have like some popcorn. Just pretend that this is popcorn. I know it's not, but, like, you know what I'm saying. So that that's basically what is. But but I love God of War though. But personally, guys, like which one would you? The original God of War one, two, and three. Okay, throw Ascension in, uh, Chains of Olympus, Ghost of Sparta, throw all of the original Go uh, God of War games in, right? Or would you God of War 2018 and God of War Ragnarok? I would go with the original, 100%. Why? Because the story was good, but the gameplay was amazing though. The aggression, the young Kratos and the, the aggressive nature, I miss that era, man. Whatever, I'm not denying God of War 2018, uh, Ragnarok, love these games. I love these games, okay, masterpieces. But I would prefer the uh, the original. Uh, Maestro prefers uh, the current one. Okay, that's fair. Uh, did you uh, have you ever played like the original Maestro? How many of you played the original uh, God of War games? Man, I would go with God of War three, one of the best game because they remastered it, uh, and uh, it's up to par right now. I would say graphically as well, uh, and they remastered it, like I said. So yeah, 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 yeah. And rumor has it that they're also remastering older God of War games. Oh, shit. I would take it. Even, I'm not against like remaster games. I'm more so against with the idea of, hey, like I I don't want to see like nine remaster games and one new game. I rather eight new games and two remasters. You, you feel what I'm saying? Feel me? Like the video if you feel me right there. So yeah, rumor has it that we're going to get God of War remasters and I'm surely down for it actually. Fire! Oh! I haven't done any of this, by the no, way. No, this is, yeah. just so you at home know, we haven't touched the controller for 45 <laughs> minutes. Or this. Is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! No, this cinematic Got gameplay is PC, happening PSP. in the gameplay. The explosions that light up your screen, the impact of your weapons, the ragdoll physics. Man, every every time like those scenes would come in, like you guys remember, right? Uh, in God of War, uh, you know, there's a there's a scene that comes in like with the hey, 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 where you gotta like press circle and you do like the Easter eggs with a baddie, right? How many of you guys actually looked uh, both way uh, both way before before doing like a uh, uh, before pressing circle? I remember that, man. 
Yeah, I would make sure mama wasn't around. I would make sure like uh, daddy didn't pull up with his, uh, with his like, well, son, what you doing, son? What you looking? You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember the good old days, bro. Like, and in 2018, we don't have that, like, Bruh. in Ragnarok, we don't. I, I get it, like, like Kratos got a son, but how many of you guys done the Easter eggs uh, with the baddie uh, as Kratos uh, in God of War, the original? I miss that, man. I miss that day, man. The intensity of the gameplay. There's not much the game doesn't do right in regards to immersion. That was a huge drawing in point for me to finally purchase the game. The cinematic gameplay. Second is the simple yet enjoyable progression systems. Yeah, progression. Simple currencies yeah. to use in unlocking more upgrades. From weapons to stratagems to cosmetics, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah, to yeah, work yeah. towards. After spending some time with the game myself, I would describe the game like The Division's Dark Zone mixed with the OG Star Wars Battlefront Chad, games, progression, man. which is perfect for me because I love both those things. I think the only thing that could hold this game back a bit is the repetitiveness. Most of the missions are a little too similar, maybe I'm just not high enough of a level yet, but I can see the game getting a little bit stale over time if there isn't much else to it. But only time will tell. Damn, son. So, AAA gaming is dead. It's time to finally back up that statement. Let's first take a look at the budgets for AAA games. Yeah. Spider-Man 2, 315 million. Man, y'all suckers are crazy, bro. Give 300 to everybody that plays your game and everybody that smashes like on the stream, man. Am I wrong, though? Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong, if you're gonna say I'm wrong. Okay, these suckers should have given like $300 like as a token of appreciation to their fans, bro. Come on, man, 300 million you're spending on that Spider-Man 2. Uh, and Spider-Man 2 is g good, don't get me wrong, but it's like 300, it's not 300 million dollars good though. It is amazing. I loved it, you know? You know what I'm saying? I loved it, but 300 million dollars, come on, man. 300 million is a budget of a blockbuster Marvel movie, lol. Uh, I think, I, I believe for Avengers Endgame, it was a little bit higher, but for other Marvel Avengers games, it's it's still high. I, I feel like it's still high for like an, like an average uh, Marvel movie, but yeah, it's I guess give or take you're right million dollars starfield 200 million the scenes with the two cyberpunk was the best 316 million for the base game and 125 million more for phantom liberty and the 2.0 update uh Ma which scene you talking about which scene you talking about man uh god of war 3 though yo god of i was on like no fab uh with god when god of war 3 uh i replayed god of war 3 like i believe a, a year or two year ago and there's a scene though i was on no fab though uh, and I'm still uh, practicing nofap, but I went on one year streak, actually. Bruh. I know seconds would be like, cap. Stop the cap. Cap, cap. Nah, nah, no cap. Deadass, though. Hand on top of this bottle of water. I, I was on that nofap grind. Still am, but, but like, when the, those two... I, I was replaying God of War. So here's the story, right? Like, I was playing... I was on nofap. I was playing God of War Ragnarok. Uh, not Ragnarok, but God of War 3. And I was like, bro, that scene is about to come in, man. I'm on my grind here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. I... At the end, I was able to make it, though, actually. But it was very, very difficult, though. Yeah, after that scene came in, though, like, it was very, very hard to be focused, you know? Because that scene was so good, though. But uh, game scene in God of War, I don't remember what God of War was it. But there was two baddies in the bed, though. Okay, oh, she, oh, she, oh, she. Marvel Avengers, 170 million. Suicide Squad figures are unknown, but it took seven years of development. So we can also guess it's Bruh. somewhere in the hundreds of millions. A lot of Sony first party titles also have very similar budgets, and this kind of spending is unsustainable and Agreed. frankly unnecessary. Agreed. A lot of these game studios have excessive bloat and spending with inflation. Over 3,000, okay, more like this. Over 3,000 people are working on Call of Duty Sales Activision. I mean, where is the content? Where is that content? 3,000 people! You suck as crazy! And recently, Phil Spencer did say that he's gonna make a very good environment, friendly environment for the devs. And he said that right before he bought Activision, right? He said that, and then ended up buying... Fired everybody. Fired everybody. He fired 1,900 uh, employees, not everybody, and most of them were from Call of Duty, some of them from uh, uh, other divisions as well, but mostly from Activision, Activision as a whole. 1,900, damn, son. Did ...developer counts, a lot of money being invested into areas of the game that don't actually matter, and somehow these games often have less depth and creativity than they used to. It seems like all the budget is going to Polygon counts and hiring BlackRock-funded companies like yeah. Sweet Baby Inc., and the players are responding accordingly. 
rewarding on these in devs for being gamer first. So could we be looking at another gaming industry crash, at least in the AAA space? Well, according to CD Projekt Red's Powell Sasko, who worked as the quest director for Cyberpunk, and Mike Laidlaw, who was the lead designer at Bioware for the Dragon Age series, they believe a crash is coming. Even Powell said in a recent interview, when it comes to AAA, we are just running at a wall, I think. And we're going to crash yeah. on that wall really soon. Damn, we're son. looking at studios with overinflated dev counts, overspending, mismanagement, ESG and D. Yeah, I've seen like so many YouTubers make videos like AAA gaming is dead. We headed to a gaming crash. And we have been saying on the channel, we are in the biggest gaming depression right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 right? Like, you know, gaming depression, games and God. Okay, I saw what you said earlier, Water. Uh, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, definitely uh, follow on Twitch as well. I would appreciate it if you live on Twitch as well. Uh, and if you're watching on Twitch, we also live on YouTube, man. Eh? Uh, I'm so close to 100k. Can you shout me out or not? I'll sub. Yo, I'm Esco. Shout out to you, but you don't have to sub to me, bro. bro like, like, only sub if you're going to watch. If not, don't have to, though. Because subscribers, seriously, don't matter. Sub count don't matter on YouTube no more. It's all about, like, uh, the topic selection. Because right now, Call of Duty is dry, so not even pulling views, no matter if you got millions of subs or whatever. It's all about, like... And once Call of Duty, once the new go game, game comes out, it's going to hit recommended and all that, right? So, yeah, subs don't matter. Don't even bother about getting a lot of subs, uh, I'm Esco. Seriously. Uh, I mean, try to up the video quality, I would say that's it. But the real ones, welcome on it. What's good, man? How you doing, man? What's good, man? Only sub if that's what you're... In. Yeah, if you're interested, then subscribe. Otherwise, there's no need to subscribe, honestly. Incompetence and insatiable greed from top you. level executives you. that is blinding them with every decision they're making. I fully agree with the idea of a AAA gaming crash coming within the next few years. So, is AAA gaming dead? Officially, no. But the end might not be too far off. And in the eyes of many of us, AAA is dead to us already. And many of us have only focused on the indie and AA scene over the last few years. That's or good, we just go good. back and play old man sadly for me i still focus on triple a but i don't buy any triple a game right now it's 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 sad like i said like um I i'm waiting for single player games but to see the problem is single player games are one and done kind of deal you're gonna play it probably on stream or off streams it's over though other than that it's like all about call of duty gts quite frankly the only game i'm waiting for is gts 6 but if that turns out to be bad then Guys, I don't know what to do no more, you know what I'm saying? This is why I got like a UFO channel, I started like a third channel as well where we're gonna have like cops videos, cheating videos and all that. Like some real life stuff, like just different, diversifying the content. And if uh, GTA 6 turns out to be bad, like quite frankly, I think I'm like done with gaming at that point. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna be done, done forever, forever. I'll wait till like a, the next game, next good game that comes out, right, you know what I'm saying? But, but you feel what I'm saying, like gaming is dry and I don't have anybody but but me to blame for it like i blame myself to be only in call of duty gta and game like that you, you feel what i'm saying uh you do live streaming with others or no i get a lot of viewers broski i i do single uh, i do solo but i appreciate it i i rarely stream honestly i uh my goal is to stream like twice a week minimum uh, don't quit. Nah, I'm not gonna quit though. I'm still, I'm just getting started. Like this is why, I'm not gonna quit YouTube, but like quitting gaming is like uh, being something that I'm thinking about. Uh, yo, mixed breed, what's good? Have you seen Iceman uh, new? Oh shit, yeah, uh, his video got recommended to me. I, I put it in my watch later. I wanted to stream, uh, so I have not. I have seen a little bit of it, like the first two minutes, and I put it in watch later. Yeah, I, I might actually make a video on it then. Uh, okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it is a desert out here, yeah, bro, like, it, it is kind of... Or Okay, let's actually settle this real quick, okay? Let's settle this. One, if you are loving games right now, whether it's AA, AAA, indie game, you're playing games, you're loving your time, you're enjoying, and you're also enjoying the complaints from uh, YouTubers, from gamers uh, everywhere on Twitter, and you're enjoying the complaints. One, if you're just loving the games. Two in the comments, if you're not necessarily like complaining or you know what you'll complain but like your complaints are justified but like you feel like uh two in the comments if you're not enjoying the games uh two three four five six seven <laughs> okay you're like uh yeah bro whatever you're gonna say next i agree with that like i don't like no games right now um i'm in the two category right now you play warzone nope i don't play warzone at all uh, uh, the only Call of Duty, Call of Duty that I play nowadays is, uh, Nuketown 24-7 Black Ops Cold War. Have a fun time playing, actually. 
Uh, two, two. I like uh, watching others play them. Okay, so you love. Uh, uh, what games do you play, IMSCO? Yeah, I don't play Warzone at all. Like, it's not up my alley, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, do you, I'm assuming you play then. I, I mean, listen, Warzone is kind of odd, but it's like, I would be playing a lot more if Warzone was getting events, though. Like, Warzone is dry as hell for me. It's like nothing new, but. Uh, and none of my friends play it either, so it's one of those uh, thing as well. Uh, I have many games installed and only play one of them, so that's sad. Uh, that's sad at all, in my opinion. Oh, okay. Only Spider-Man 2, the only good game on PS5. I like Borderlands 3, Dead Island 2, Maiden 24. Shit, man. See what I'm saying? Like, okay, at least you are into Maiden <laughs> and you're into Dead Island 2. I bought none of these games. Bruh. Like, I'm, Like I said, GTA, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and then I'm into single player games. That said though, so I'm I'm blaming myself here. I'm I'm fully aware of it. I'm not like anybody delusional out here. I'm blaming myself. I fully will take it on the chin. You know, other AAA games. You love gaming. For every example, day, after School That's and Bones flopped, good. people have been going back to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. After Suicide Squad flopped, the Batman Arkham games rose back up in popularity and are already beating Suicide Squad in player counts. Man. After Starfield flopped for me. I went and dropped 30 hours in Skyrim in just over a week. Even casual gamers who don't interact much online about games are voting with their wallets. Yes, they sir, too yes, just sir. want good games made for gamers. Yo, uh, Wallace, we were talking about this, right? Like, uh, boycotts don't work in gaming, and I still hold that true. Like, I still believe that boycotts don't work, but maybe one day they will work. Maybe one day will work. they will work. Or we don't necessarily need boycotts. What we need is, like, gamers to have, like, discipline, right? Like... You gotta have dick discipline as well as a guy obviously like you don't want to be effing around everything that moves right have a dick discipline and if you're a gamer you gotta have gamer discipline which means like don't don't buy everything that's out on the market <laughs> you feel what I'm saying so yeah i think gamer discipline is uh rising up right now don demarco for that one real quick uh, made 500 in one week, boss man. I won't stop till I make it to the top. That that's amazing, man. Go get that bread. I make most uh, from the in, uh, from the stocks actually. So yeah, 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 yeah. But that's amazing, bro. That's amazing. By gamers. W man. And that's w, really w, what w, this w. video and a lot of my videos always boil down to. Games developed by passionate gamers that have a fundamental understanding of what makes gaming fun and entertaining is who I'm looking to buy from. And this is what the Helldivers 2 team really understands right now. They have nailed such a good core gameplay loop that despite the game lacking a bit more depth, it keeps players coming back and saying, just one more mission. Yeah, it's good to see Helldivers. What? Yo, they got nukes as well? Yeah, damn! Yo, I didn't know they had nukes in the game though. But guys, click on this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done, man. What else can I say? These seconds were caught cheating though. And the type of cheats that they were using, you're not gonna believe it. Click on this video on the screen and I'll see you right there.